Hello, hello. I'm about to get ready and wanted to do a fall bronzed look today with some new products that I'm super excited about. So, first, I have already done my skincare for the day and I started my makeup with primer. And I'm going to show you what I use. I usually prime about 15 minutes before I do my foundation. So I use our Silk Pore and Wrinkle Minimizer, and you need this in your life. I never used primer until now, but I'm obsessed with Silk. So basically, Silk is a pore and wrinkle minimizer, so it's going to fill in fine lines and wrinkles. It's going to minimize my pores and prime my face and get it ready for a smooth, even application of foundation. So I've already applied my Silk in my T-zone about 15 minutes ago. So primer's done. Now I'm ready to apply some candlelight shadow scents. So if you follow me on YouTube, I use candlelight in literally every video. It's amazing. So candlelight shadow scents is eyeshadow technically, but it has um, a warm undertone. So I like to use it as concealer because it's going to cover up my dark circles and any blemishes like that right there got a few blemishes. and then i just work that in with my fingers so that is candlelight i'm obsessed with it so when you use your fingers it helps work in the product really well so normally i use brushes but for candlelight it just blends the shadow scents in so well So I like to use my fingers, but I try to use my brushes when possible. So that is only our candlelight. Okay, so that covered up my dark circles right away. I'm obsessed with it. Next, I want to show you my color correcting tint and moisturizer, and it covers up any redness and evens out my skin tone. So normally. I don't wear foundation. I'll just do this tint moisturizer. So I'm going to show you how it covers up like this redness right here and evens out my skin tone. And it's sheer yet full coverage. So it gives me enough coverage for every day without foundation. So I wanted to show you my skin with just color correcting tint and moisturizer. So that is only tint and moisturizer, no foundation. See how it got rid of that redness I had going on right here? Evened out my skin tone. So normally I would just wear this for every day, no foundation because it gives me plenty of coverage and it's super sheer. Like it feels like I have on no makeup right now. So this is what I would normally wear. Just our color correcting tint and moisturizer. I'm obsessed with it. One of my top sellers. People can't get enough of it and it lasts forever. Look at my bottle. I've been using it since February and it's not even halfway gone. Color correcting tint and moisturizer. So I wanted to show you that, but I'm going to do some foundation today too. So I wear suede in our anti-aging foundation and it is also full coverage yet lightweight and sheer. Like it doesn't feel heavy. I know I never liked liquid foundation for that reason because it felt heavy. Um, and this is cream to powder and sheer but full coverage and I like to blend in a little bit of powder just for an airbrush finish. So you definitely do not have to, but I like to blend in powder just for a little bit more of an airbrush look. So I just dump a little bit in with my foundation and then start in the middle of my face, work my way out and 
I'll do a little contouring and highlighting as well. So our foundation is anti-aging, which means it has our Cineplex complex in it. So it regenerates my skin cells 23 times faster. So it's going to help my skin look younger, prevent fine lines and wrinkles. So it's actually good for my skin. I've never had foundation do that for my skin and I've noticed a huge difference. I've switched over to using all of these products over the last few months. I'm just using a Real Technique stippling brush because it blends in the product really well, but you can use your fingers or whatever brush you have. So that is our anti-aging foundation and it adjusts three shades, which is really nice. Like I wore the same shade in the spring and the summer and then I'm wearing it right now. And you know, it's going to adjust to my skin tone even with the changing seasons. So that's really nice to not have to get a whole new bottle just because it's winter. Um, I know I used to do that. So anti-aging foundation, you can see I have half a bottle left and I've been using it since February. So it has a no waste pump, which pushes the product up so you don't waste any. So save a ton of money too. Okay. So I'm going to do a little bit of highlighting and contouring. If you watched my video yesterday, I um, posted it on my YouTube. And I talked about how easy it is to highlight and contour with our products. So I never did any kind of contouring, any kind of highlighting. I didn't even wear makeup most days a year ago. But this is our eyeshadow. And I will literally make a three. So like top of the three, middle of the three, and then bottom of the three to contour. So that's just a guide. You can see the shape of the three. So that's really where I contour. And I'll just use Mocha Java Shimmer Shadow Sense. Ooh, my lighting went out of focus. And then I always like to do this on the outer crease of my eye. So this is eyeshadow that I'm using to contour because it's cream to powder and it blends so easily. I love how versatile our products are. I can get so much wear and use out of them and they're going to last all day. So I'm just buffing in Mocha Java Shimmer with my Real Techniques brush that I used earlier. For a little bit of contour just to make my bone structure pop. And a little bit on the edges of my nose. And then I can go back and do a little bit of highlighting. Let me blend in my eyeshadow really quick. I'm going to crack open a new color for a bronzed eye. It's called Copper Rose Shimmer Shadow Scent. So I'm going to do that in just a second after I highlight. So I usually use a little bit of white concealer. Sometimes I blend in with foundation, but today I'm just going to go fast and do a little bit beside where I've contoured and then blend that in and then set it with some powder. So I just do like a little triangle under my eyes. A little bit on the bridge of my nose, just for a little bit of highlight. And then under my cheekbones where I did a little contour. So I was saying in my video yesterday that I never used to do any kind of contouring because I was intimidated by it because I thought you had to be a makeup artist and learn how to do that. So I never like experimented or tried it and these products gave me the confidence to teach myself. So I just started 
watching YouTube videos and, you know, saw how easy it was with these products because look how easily they blend and they're going to dry and set here in a minute because they're creamed to powder. So look how pretty that is. I'm going to do some baking with some powder. So this just sets your makeup and baking creates that airbrush finish too. So I'm just going to pack on some powder where I just highlighted. You can use a sponge. I'm just going to use my brush because that's what I have. Because I'm all about no fuss, saving money, quick and easy. Like I said, you could even use your fingers for all these products. I definitely go faster when I use my fingers, but I try to be good and use my brushes. Okay, so I'm going to let that powder set for a minute and then I can go back and finish my eyes. So, Copper Rose Shimmer. Look at how pretty this is. It's just a bronze eyeshadow. So, I'm going to do that all across my lid. And so, the eyeshadow comes with a little wand, but I just like to take my brush and show you how a little bit goes a long way. Like, I just dab my brush in the wand and then apply all over my lid and then the awesome thing about these shadows is that they give you a minute or so before they set so look how pretty that is just a little bronze shimmer so I'm gonna do this all over my eyes and then I'll blend, blend, blend. And I love how they last all day. No priming, no smudging off. I'm obsessed. Okay, so that is Copper Rose Shimmer. Look how pretty that is. So pretty for fall. So y'all saw me how I just dabbed a little bit and how I just blended that in and it's going to last all day. Then I'll go do a little transition color on the inner corners. I love Sandstone Pearl Shimmer. It's my favorite. I'm going to do a little bit on the inner corners of my eyes, just as a transition color. Okay, so that's going to set in like a minute. So I can blend it if I need to. I love these two colors blended together too. So the key to eyeshadows is blending. But our eyeshadows make it so easy to layer colors. See how pretty those are together? It says sandstone pearl shimmer on the inner corners. This is a transition color. And then copper rose shimmer all over my lid. That's really pretty for fall, I love that. So my eyeshadow is set for the day and I'm going to do a little bit of liner with our black shadows called Onyx. I like to do a little winged eye. And then in a second I will dust off the powder from my face.
So Onyx is the perfect eyeliner for a winged eye. Try not to mess up here. So I just dab a little angled brush into Onyx and super easy to do a winged eye. See how pretty that is? I'm obsessed with Onyx. So you could go back and smudge that line out and clean it up if you want to. So that's a simple winged eye with our eyeshadow. Again, I love how versatile all these products are. See how pretty that is? All of our long lasting eyeshadows. I'm obsessed. So I'll go back and clean this line up a little bit because I did a little too much of a wing. This is usually about what I do. Okay, now I'm just going to dust off this powder that I set my foundation and highlight with. And see how it has that powder airbrush finish so that's totally optional like I said because all of our products are creamed to powder so you'll have that powder finish but I like to do a little bit of an airbrush look okay so blush I love our blush scents it is liquid blush I had never used liquid blush before and I'm obsessed because a little bit goes such a long way and it just blends in so well gives me a little pop of color on my cheekbones and my favorite shade is toasted rose so that is our blush I need a little bit more on this side So it's going to last all day, so I'm going to smudge off. Okay, so that's blush. And then I like to do a little bit of our pearlizer highlighter on the apples of my cheeks. Just for a little pop. See how pretty that is? And then do some right here. Tip of my nose. Anywhere you want that little glow, you can do our pearlizer. So I like to do it just right there. See how it makes my cheekbones pop? Mm, got a little too much. <laughs> A little bit goes such a long way with all these products, so that's always nice. Okay, so that's our pearlizer. See how the light just bounces off of that? It's real pretty. All right, so put a little bit extra in my pout. Okay, blush and pearlizer is done. I'm gonna do some lash scents. I use our Lash Scents Waterproof Mascara with Lash Builder. So the Lash Builder is called Under Scents, so that's what I'm applying now. It's just like a gray mascara. And it's just going to build and lengthen my lashes naturally without any false lashes or extensions. This is another one of my top sellers. Because you can naturally lengthen your lashes without any 
fibers or extensions, so that's always nice. Okay, while the under scents is drying, I'm going to do a little bit of lip scents. So, today I'm going to do a layer combo of two different colors. So, y'all know I'm loving Bella right now, but I can't wear Bella every day. I need some variety in my life. So, I'm going to do Bella layered with Bombshell to show you how easy it is to layer these colors. So I'm going to go ahead and do that while my under scents is drying, my mascara. So, clean dry lips, three thin layers. I'm going to do probably one layer of Bella with two layers of bombshell. So, here it goes. Layer one, let that dry really well. Then I do mascara. And a little bit on the bottom. Do you hold your mouth open like me when you do mascara? I feel like that's a must. <laughs> Didn't know if I was the only one. A little bit of lash scents on my bottom lashes. I don't usually do under scents first on my bottom, but you can just for some more length of volume. So that's our lash scents. And then I'm going to do some Bella, I mean some Bombshell on top of Bella. I haven't worn bombshell in a while. I'm excited. One of my favorite colors. Let that dry. See how pretty that is? <laughs> and then I'll do one more layer of bombshell. Let that dry. Okay. 
and seal in with gloss. I like this combo. I've never worn it. Bella with Bombshell. Have to remember this one. And that's it. It's going to stay on all day, not smudge off. So I'll show you my lip color. It's not going to come off. Just gloss. And then I'll probably do matte gloss today. Um, so. I won't have to reapply my color. I'll just go back with some matte gloss for a matte finish. But I always do a thin layer of gloss, clear gloss, to seal my color first. So that's it. I hope y'all enjoyed. Have a great day. Bye.